Hello and welcome back. Now what I'm doing for you on to this one today is, uh, do you remember the job lot of mowers I got on the last video? Um, I'm going to start today on one of them and believe it or not it's going to be the laser. And good news is I've got a grass box for it which is quite excellent. So, but what I want to do is I want to try and use, well I know I don't like to come to the engines, uh, there is a lot of sand and stuff underneath so what I want to try and do is see if the engine runs and if it runs then I'll leave it on it if not I'm going to take it off and try and fit a Briggs and Stratton classic on it so let's go and have a look right okay so this is the one it is an old engine I tell you it is absolutely caked with crud it's got sand inside of the engine um, I think what I'm gonna have to do first is repair these tie these handlebars up and connect the other side as well so what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll tighten all those up uh, and then come back to you and what I'll also do as well I'll just get the airline and just clear away on that hoping I'm hoping that this um, pull cord and recoil is all right to use if it does then what i'll do is i'll take the spark plug out i'll just spray some fuel into there and then we'll see if it starts right i've cleaned it up and i've took the spark plug out i mean look at that that is terrible so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give this a clean up uh and just to see if, if it sparks long i'll stick some fuel in it and then i'll take you outside let's see if it'll work Right, you saw it worked, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick some fuel into the tank uh, and then uh, <laughs> we'll see if it runs. Right, I've put some fuel in, it's not leaking and the float has got fuel in it because I pushed the uh, little plunger and some fuel came out. So it, it does have a bro broken throttle handle on it, so <laughs> let's just give it a go. Right, what I've had to do is I've had to loosen the uh, the cable on the front and push the throttle forward uh, manually. So let's, let's see if she run. I think that was a result don't you uh, you saw there that engine was running lovely all by itself I, <laughs> I haven't even touched the inside of the um, carburetor but if not I actually put some old fuel in it which I had um, and it's running so that fuel <laughs> isn't as old as what I thought so right what do I do now then what do I do now I, I tell you what the engine is absolutely caked with sand and rubbish all around the front and all around everything so what I'm going to do is I need to take the carburetor off anyway uh, I need to fix this recoil, uh, put a new coil on there. I think what I'm going to do once I've took those off is uh, after I drain the oil out, I'm actually going to take the engine off um, just so that I can give the whole deck a, good, a nice good clean as well. Uh, it, these wheels need to be taken off and cleaned anyway. So whilst I'm doing all that, I can, whilst the engine's off and everything, I'll do all that, give them a good clean up, and then uh, we'll see how that goes. Now we've had an even better result here as well. This is the first time I've ever managed to get these bolts off just by using a screwdriver to take the carb off without having to take the exhaust off. Um, 
I did want to take these off at the moment off at the moment because it's hot so that was a result look at that just not lose these uh well oh, they're still inside I mean look at all that look look at all that sand that's why I need to, I think I need to take that engine off and give it a good clean even inside if you can see inside look at the inside of this carb I can't even I can't even see the fuel pipe that's how bad it is all right I've given it a good as best as I can and clean with the airline so what I need to do first is I need to get this air filter off because I need to get I can't get these uh, levers off these bars I think I'm even going to give the carburetor a clean on the inside. I'm just going to do the outside, I think. Right, so we put that to one side. And the reason is, I need to take this off so I can get these levers off. Um, I can't move that clip off of there as well. I'm not sure if that's going to come out. Yeah, I need to take this off. So I'll take all this off and then I'll come back. So first I need to do is I need to take this tank off. Now you can see why I've had to take all this apart. I mean, look at the state of this. How? How was? Was someone been on a beach with this? I'm actually surprised the actual coil is is uh, working. I mean, everything needs to be cleaned. Look at it; it's, it's absolutely terrible. I won't be able to get inside underneath there. So, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to take the engine off. I drain the oil out because it is nice and warm now, so I, I can take that off, and then uh, yeah, then I come back. All right, okay. Let's see how easy this uh, this blade comes off, and the engine. Well, I'm happy with that. I'll stick that down the bottom there, and then we try these bolts on his uh, engine out. Do it nice and gentle. Well, that one come out easy enough, but I think this one's rusted in a bit. I don't want to break it in there. If it is, and then I'll have to heat the engine up. Oh, heat the bolt up. That's coming off. That's good. Two. Hopefully, this one's going to come off just as easy. Here we go. Okay. Right, let's move these bolts. Turn it over. Oh, one thing I have noticed as well. Look at this. It's got a rear roller on this. All right. So there you are. That's the off. Right, I'm going to show you this bit because this is turning out to be more of a restoration than anything else. Now, I've had to, I've had to take the wheels off because all the adjustments are it's absolutely solid. But one thing I don't like on wheels is these spring clips. Um, I've had three of them at the moment, and they've been absolutely terrible to get off. One spring's got it came off in the end, and it, it's gone down the back. But how I take these off is lucky I've got this little tool here and all I do is I get that into there like that and just to open it up a bit like that just 
just so that I can try and get the it opens up a bit as you can hear them clicking up a little bit And it is a pain I'm going to show you all this because this is how long it, it's been taking just to get one of these off and then I'll get the screwdriver in the back there if I can and then as I'm forcing that out try and open it up more see it came out a bit more oh I've just broke my tool that ain't good It's coming out even though it's broken. I threw in that's a lovely little tool that was that did a lot of jobs. Little draper tool it is. So and then try and gradually without breaking the spring because I haven't got any of these. Not this size anyway. It is coming off gently. Right, so I'll show you on this one. Well, is that, that I can't even move that at all. So the, the, these have to come out. Um, I've got a 30 mil socket. And it's lucky I've got this uh, ratchet because very easy that come off of it so I want to keep them all in one bit on one piece so then I know which way because I'm gonna have to clean them up anyway uh, I'll show you the reason why in a minute I just want to get this bolt on on there and I'll show you there anyway quickly you see all that that is rusty so all that rust needs to come off and all the inside of there so do that show you the deck now right I gave the uh, the deck a clean as much as I could um, if you see there you can see what the color of the paint should have been and how sort of discolored it's been I think it's been left out rather than anything else and you can tell by it to the engine if I turn it around it is an absolutely difference in how clean it's come up so I'm re really happy with that now so we'll just start putting things back together Right, so that's all come up well that's a lot more loose than what it was that even this one was stiff so yeah that'll do that one's clean uh, we'll put that to one side and, just, and then what i'm going to do next now is i've got to clean all these wheels up so i'm not going to video how i clean all these up uh, i'm just going to go over with the petrol and then uh, try and get some of this rust off of there as well right okay so off camera i have been doing um a few things like i said i, I gave this uh, deck a lovely little clean uh just give it a little polish and then i think it's come it's got some little rust marks going around um around there but i'm not i'm not too bothered this is just for a uh it's for a video here uh also i have cleaned the wheels up and i think they've they've come up really really nice and clean as well so they've all been done and i have done the, the wheel up arms sort of thing uh the brackets for the wheels and that and these were all rusty very very dirty so they've all come up clean I've got the other four over the back and these are the spacers uh, which they just sit onto there like that so what I'll do is I'll just spray a little bit of WD-41 before I put them, well before I put the wheels on I should say and uh, then stick them on together so, all right, so there's the first one uh, what you do is you, you put the, the bolt in first then the lever then the wheel arm and then the little uh whatever you want to call that i don't know what it is and literally just you've got that little lip there which fits onto the top one and a bolt goes into there and then it's just a, a washer on, on this side with a 13 mil bolt oops and spot the mistake already because i have done that upside down <laughs> See, even even I can make a mistake. I 
touch it. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just put the 13 mil bolt onto there and then I'll just get my ratchet gun and then as quick as that and then that should move up and down nicely. So there you are, there's the first one done. Uh, I will do the second one and then I'll come back and uh, do the back one and put the roller on. Right, okay, so I'll just put this roller into place. Some brackets on the inside there. And you just line these holes up on there. And then all you do is one of these wheel brackets again. Is make sure that is all lined up. In those two little slots there. Which it is. And push that in. Get, now this one's quite awkward so I need to get the washer on and then this self tapping um, self locking nut and then get your 13 mil Banner on the inside, which is it's pretty awkward as it happens, and they just give that a little tighten up. That's all that needs, and hopefully, there you are, that's that should be done. All right, so there you have the four brackets all done and the rear roller. So I'll just give that. So that's all done, no problem with that now. Uh, next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick the engine back on before I stick the wheels on. Okay, so I've brought this forward uh, to the first hole. It's just so that I can get my hand underneath. I don't want to tip it. No need to tip it up now, now it's off. So I could just get one bolt on and that will hold it. So we line that up. just literally underneath because I can see the hole so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get him in by hand just making sure that camera is on there and then 13 mil underneath here I think it's a 13, just double check, no it ain't, it's a 14. Alright, okay, so what I did, I just tied it up a little bit, just so it, there is a bit of movement there if I need to. So then we tie this round to the side, and we're putting that out, it's just enough, so I can see the hole underneath. Doing these up by hand easy enough really just so it pinches it and I'll turn this one round. Same same thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick the uh, ratchet underneath and then tighten these up. And 
that's it. All right, so what I've done now is I've, I've gave the blade a lovely little cut there. I mean, a lovely little sharpen. So we'll, um, we'll stick this on now. spaces on the one wrong way around but it wasn't biting onto it. Let's put that onto full power. That's it. And that'll do. <coughs> so we we'll start there by putting these uh these wheels back on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray just the inside of this or even just put it on here. This is with some spray lube grease oh can you hear that wind in the background really really not a nice day today and then that simple one there and then we get this spring clip back on here again and all I do is just gonna get a socket this is the 13 mil and then just gently just make sure that's all the way in just give it another tap and that's done and then just put the, the cover back on there's one wheel ok right well, it's going to start putting this carburetor back on I did give it a clean in the end, not on the ultrasonic cleaner, but uh, just just to clean up. Right, so what we're going to do first is this bottom spring here. It goes underneath and just sits onto there like that. And then we get this long arm here. And that goes into there like that. And then... through there Oops, just hit that and then that sits onto there like that but what I'm going to do first though before I actually bolt that on to make it a little bit easier is I'm going to get the fuel tank uh, sit that on and put the hose on there and a second one in there that's it and then the same with this you can see where the marks were before and just line it up gently and then that should once that's gone there and then that's it all right so now we need to put this uh, air filter cover on or the air filter holder i should say Quite awkward to get that on as it happens. Right, so we've got that one on. Right, I'm going to have to move the camera, so I'll still have one and then I'll come back. Right, the air filter on this one, it's, it's been in there that long. As you see, look, as I push it, it's just crumbling. Um, I didn't have one in stock, but. As they say, I was again on Blue Peter. I have this sponge. I bought this sponge at a, a show, and I've cut it out, and that's just as good. Right, I ain't gonna um, 
film putting all the uh, coil, uh, recoil cover on or, or, or the tank. I don't think you need to because you, you've seen me do plenty of these before. Uh, so I'll get these on and uh, I'll come back when I've got all this bit on. But there you are, all this is bit, this has all been put back on. Uh, as you can see with the uh, exhaust, I gave that a, a spray paint and also the recoil cover. I gave it a blow over with satin paint as well because uh, it was rusty a little bit on the top there and I think, oh, I think this is coming out really nice now so what I've got to do now I've got to sort out the handlebars I'll sort that out um, that need they need a little bit of work uh, might, might even have to spray those over as well right that's what I'm going to be doing on that one today uh, it's getting late now, now. Um, I've got to do the handles next um, they are in dire straits really then they, they really do need sorting out uh, unless I've got some more over the uh, stash so yeah that's all I could do on this one until uh, next time um, so look out for part two so don't forget if you like this one uh, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that little grey notification bell and, and then you'll be told when I'm doing another video so until next time cheerio